today we are here to talk to you about bar muscle ups. So bar muscle ups, I believe are, they do require lots of strength, but there's a huge technique component to a bar muscle up. So today we're gonna go through start to finish on the technique and drills that you can be doing to build the right technique from the start so we can stay away from chicken winging uh, and you can have a beautiful bar muscle up. So we'll go through some drills, We'll talk about the positions, where your shoulder should be, where your head should be, and then we'll also give you some accessory work to do on the end to help you get your best or your first bar muscle up. Our goal with this video is to give you the tips to achieve a smooth, efficient bar muscle up that you can hopefully start adding to your workouts. So here's what one looks like. I absolutely love bar muscle ups. And I hope that after this video, you will start to love them too. All right guys, so the first drill we're gonna do is going to just work on making sure that we have our kip down for the bar muscle up. So a lot of times in the bar muscle up, we see the chicken wing because we're not patient and we don't wait long enough on the kip or the back swing to be able to become weightless and flip over the bar. So what this drill is gonna focus on is making sure that we're being patient and we're fully extending and engaging our lat as we pull down so our eyes can go behind the bar and we're not sneaking over. So Patrick, welcome Patrick, my husband, you guys know him. So he's gonna start first wrapping his thumb around the bar, which we'll talk about in a second. He's got long arms. He's in this hollow body position and he's gonna come down through. So now we're in the hollow arch position, which we talked about in the chest bar and the pull up. Notice how open his shoulder is, how long his arms are. From here, he's gonna pull down with his palms coming back into that hollow body. Again, he's got his arms fully extended. We wanna make sure that we're hitting this position before we're ever thinking about going up and over. So I think this is important just to ingrain good muscle memory. So I would recommend like Patrick's doing here, going through this a solid five reps, thinking about finding our hollow body and our hollow arch, getting our head fully behind the bar and making sure our arms are extended. So we're not thinking about just going straight up and over the bar, but we're creating the space between our body and the bar. So there's the space for him to be able to flip over when he is weightless. All right guys, once you've mastered the hollow body, hollow arch, you get the hang of having the long arms. We're gonna add in the lat engagement with a small jump. So essentially what we're now gonna be focusing on is pulling the bar with our palms toward our hips. And we're doing that by using our lats. So he's gonna show you one and then I'll break it down. Good. So what you'll notice is he, I'm gonna have him go through it again. Again, another five reps here. But what you'll notice is he's mimicking the exact same thing as drill number one. But when he hits full extension with his arms, he's pulling hard. He does have a small jump, but that's not what's driving him up. What's driving him is the pull down with his arms. So one more time, chest through, back, pull. The pull is how he's becoming weightless off of the box. The third drill we're gonna work on, again, building on drills number one and two, is just the assisted turnover. So it's important to remember we don't have the hip pop in this movement. So when we have the hip pop, it's gonna throw us over just a little bit more. This is a really cool way to get over the bar with a little bit of assistance. So what Patrick's gonna do is go through the same thing. So chest is gonna come through, he's gonna drive and turn. One more time, what I want you to watch is I want you to watch his hands. Okay, so a lot of us leave our hands glued to the bar. When he is turning over, his knuckles should be rotating and his elbows coming forward. And that's how he's gonna get his chest over the bar. So in a bar muscle up, our hands and our wrists will not stay glued, but we have the bar in the meaty palm of our arm. When we turn, everything rotates over the bar together. So watch his hands closely. Good, again, I would practice, you know, a five reps here, so five reps of drill one, five reps of drill two, five reps of drill three, continuing to build on each other. You can also make this easier or harder. If you can't turn over the bar, there's a couple of things we need to look on, work on. We need to keep working on our pull down to make sure we're getting high enough behind the bar. And then two, we need to work on the turnover, okay? So committing to getting the chest over the bar. For this drill, if you're like, man, I'm just not getting over the bar, raise your box up. So the higher the box is, the less distance between the bar and your box means it's going to be easier. If it's too easy, then let's go ahead and lower your box and create more of that hanging feeling. 
All right, once you've got the feeling and you've mastered all three of those drills, we basically go back through the same progression because remember, it's all about building good muscle memory. So we're gonna do the exact same thing again, but this time he's gonna have one foot off of the box. So it's gonna force him to use more of his lats and more of his hip pop and emulate that kipping swing. So the first drill again, now with one foot, chest through, coming back. One more time, chest through, coming back. Good, so now we're gonna add the jump. Same thing again. So the chest comes through, pull back and jump. So you're gonna notice he's flying a little bit more because we're using the hip pop just a little bit more. He's using the power from his hips and his legs in this swing. Again, chest through and jump, good. All right, and the final one, he's gonna turn over, okay? Chest through, jump, turn. So when he becomes weightless on the back end, he's squeezing his butt, so he's squeezing his glutes, which drive his hips up towards the bar and allow his chest to flip over. So one more time, and squeeze his butt, turn. I think it's really important to notice if you watch his feet, they were always staying slightly in front of the bar. His legs were staying long. When we go to bend our knees and pull straight up to the bar, then we're too close to the bar. And that's why the chicken wing is happening is there's no space between us and the bar. So we have to figure out how to get over. So we try to turn our elbows over. If we can pull back and get weightless, now we can have the space to sit forward as fast as we can to get our chest over the bar. As we sit forward, our legs come backwards. So it's that counterbalance, and that's what allows us to get over the rig. So now that we've kind of showed you the progression, the technique of a bar muscle up, we're gonna go through some of the skills and the drills to build the strength and also fine tune our bar muscle up if maybe we already have one, but we wanna create new patterns or build the strength in new patterns. So first one I like, I always like banded drills. You guys know that. So I'm gonna hook a band to the rig post. I'm gonna take my PVC pipe through the band. So this is gonna mimic the rig, like I'm hanging from it. What I like to focus on is having my hands open, okay? So when I bend in this, a lot of times we wanna bend our elbows, and this is not gonna be the position that we're hanging from. When we're hanging, our arms are straight. So hollow body, ribs pulled down, squeeze your butt, squeeze your quads, and I'm gonna to try to keep my hands open the best that I can as I drive my palms back towards my thighs. I couldn't think for a second. So coming back down, hands open, driving straight down. What that allows me to do is make sure that I'm focusing on keeping my arms long and I'm truly using my lats and I'm not cheating by grabbing it and pulling the PVC pipe in with my biceps or with my chest. I like to do big sets here. So think three sets of 25 to 30 reps, trying to keep your arms long, neck long, just firing our lats for every single rep. The next drill, that we're gonna go over is gonna mimic. So we started with our lats, still focusing on our lats because that's a big piece of the bar muscle up. We're gonna hook a barbell to a rig. We banded it so it's not gonna move. Definitely check it, pull on it, make sure it's not gonna move before you start hanging from it. And then you're gonna need a long foam roller. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna find, imagine like I'm hanging from this barbell. So this would be about my hand position if I was hanging from the rig. Then I'm gonna bring the foam roller out put my calves on it. From here, what I'm gonna think about doing is generating power and opening my shoulder as I slightly push my toes forward and then to get behind the bar, I'm gonna have to pull down on the bar, maintaining a hollow position. So what it's gonna look like. So one thing I'm thinking about is just like if I'm hanging from the rig, when my toes are point going forward, I am squeezing everything as tight as possible, trying to stay connected from my fingers all the way to my toes, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and now I can drive hard back on the bar. You'll get a nice little calf foam roll as well. It feels pretty good, but I love this drill. It teaches you to stay connected because if we break anywhere, we're gonna lose the foam roller. We're not gonna be able to drive down hard on the bar or feel efficient with that kip. Give this one a try, three sets, six to eight reps at a time. Take a good solid minute or two minute rest between and make sure that we're having the bar really in our palm, thumbs around, and we're pulling down hard. All right guys, the last one, the towel between your feet. I love this drill. This is something that I have done a ton of. We wanna be efficient. 
with our movement and a lot of times efficiency leads to very clean beautiful movement i don't know about you but i love watching when somebody just has a beautiful muscle up they're wasting no extra energy everything's just functioning super well everything's working together and it's super smooth so this is a really good way to work on that and to make sure we take the early knee bend out and we can keep our whole body connected from start to finish so what you're going to do is you're going to put this towel between your feet can use I've used a scarf in the winter or whatever you have that you can squeeze nice and tight and we're gonna focus on keeping that there so we don't want to lose it from here we're gonna hop up still towel is between my feet and we're gonna start our kipping swing a little bit. one more time What that's gonna do is it's gonna force you to rely on your hip drive and the power of your lats. So because I'm not able to bring my knees up as much or let my feet come apart, I have to think about pulling hard with my lats, squeezing my butt to get my hip up to the bar so I get that weightless feeling and now I can turn over. This is definitely a way to work on efficiency, smoothness of the movement, and make your muscle up so beautiful that everybody just wants to stop and watch you when you do them. All right guys, so one last thing I just wanna to touch on is grip. So you will notice Patrick had his thumb all the way around the bar. You might notice I tend to put my thumb not around the bar. We should put our thumbs around the bar. I've been working really hard to make that change. Just being a gymnast as a younger, person it, I was taught giants this way so it's been very very hard for me to switch that however something you should think about is think about trying to swing something maybe a kettlebell or holding on to a dumbbell right it's gonna be very challenging if we don't have our thumb around the kettlebell or around the dumbbell and it's probably gonna fly out of our hands the same thing can happen off of the bar I've definitely seen people fall off I have definitely had to come down earlier than I would like to so we're gonna make sure we want to get the bar as deep into our palm as we can have our thumb around the bar for the extra layer of that security so we can get our wrist into a better position, we can activate our lats more, we can engage our bigger forearm muscles, and all in all, have a better position when we're hanging from the rig and doing any pulling movements. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We love sharing some of these technique drills that we love to use that have helped us work on these movements, perfect our movements, and build stamina and endurance in these movements. We love teaching the gymnastics, but next, we are gonna go into teaching the Olympic weightlifting movements, breaking down the snatch pull, breaking down the clean, breaking down the jerk, and anything else you guys wanna see. So make sure you subscribe and you like, and comment below on anything along the weightlifting lines that you want us to do, because we'll be bringing those videos to you next.